If you're looking for exciting and new ways to earn a passive income or start a side hustle, then you're at the right place. I'm here to teach you to do just that. My name is Philip from Daily Art Hub and today I'm going to teach you how to create coloring pages that you can turn around and sell at places like Amazon, Kindle Direct Publishing, on Etsy as digital downloads, at Teachers Pay Teachers as learning materials, or any other marketplace you see fit. You could even have them printed and sell them live and in person as a physical product. Anything goes here. And the best part of it all is I'm going to teach you how to do it totally free. I love bringing you these videos where you don't have to spend anything to get up and running on a new side hustle because you have nothing to lose by trying it out and giving it your best go. Anyway, before you get going, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and also leave me a comment and start a dialogue or just say hello. It helps YouTube to know that you're enjoying these videos that I'm making for you and gets me a better spot in the algorithm so that I can in turn devote more time to bringing you more videos. So in order to get you going making coloring pages, the big skill you'll need to learn is how to turn full color graphics into outlines. Typically, when turning artwork into outlines, it's done with Adobe Illustrator. Unfortunately, Illustrator comes with a hefty monthly subscription price. I've recently discovered a fantastic free image editing software capable of manipulating graphics called Inkscape. And the great thing is Inkscape has the ability to turn any of the art you find on dailyarthub.com into outline files perfect for coloring books and coloring pages. And because I always like to find you ways to do things for free as much as I can, today I'm gonna to show you how to create coloring books without having to buy expensive Adobe software using Inkscape. I'm gonna be using graphics from my own website called dailyarthub.com in this tutorial, which if you're looking for graphics for your products, I strongly suggest you check out our one-time payment deal where you get access to our entire massive catalog of graphics that includes unlimited downloads from everything we released in the past, Plus, you'll get every graphic we release in the future. One-time pay with no limits. Of course, you can also use the tutorial for any art you find, even if it's not from dailyarthub.com. Okay, let's get over to the computer and get you started on making coloring pages. Okay, here we are over at the computer. Let's first get started by taking a look over at Amazon to see the sales opportunities that you'll have with selling coloring books. We'll do a quick search for a coloring book and just do a quick scroll through the listings to see how much these are selling. For example, you can see this one here has over 18,000 reviews, so it's selling big, big numbers. There's no reason not to at least try the side hustle since you can do this with absolutely zero startup costs or investments. And if you can somehow find a winning formula and produce a best-selling coloring book, you'll be able to literally make money while you sleep. Okay, now that I've shown you that there is indeed money to be made making coloring books, let's get over to dailyarthub.com and find some art that we can use to produce our own coloring books. I'll have a link in the description to get you to dailyarthub.com. Once you get here, let's first check this out. If you go to our categories link here, you can see we have a category called outlines. If you scroll through this category, you're gonna find tons and tons of graphics that you can use straight out of the box to create coloring books. These are graphics that are already turned into outlines and you can download and build instant coloring pages with almost no effort. But if you wanna really stand out, you're gonna wanna follow along and learn how to make your own outlines so that you have millions more options to be original and creative. Okay, so the best way I found to create outlines from art is with a free software called Inkscape. I'll have a link down in the description to go to Inkscape. Make sure you install the correct version for your operating system, as you can see the choices here. Install is super easy and I don't think you'll have any problems. If you do, of course, let me know and I can try to help you. Also, I just wanted to say again that this program is 100% free and seems to do everything that Adobe Illustrator does, but for free, of course. After Inkscape is installed, let's browse through dailyarthub.com and grab some art to use in our coloring page. You can search through the categories here at the top and browse around and get tons of ideas just by scrolling through all the graphics. However, I pre-picked out some graphics that I want to use for my coloring page to make it all quicker and easier. If you want to practice using the same art as I do, you can just type in part of these titles in the search bar at the top to find them. The first set I'm going to use is this Astronaut Space Animals Clip Art set. It includes six animals floating around in space and it's totally fun and cute. This is the set that our artist Ellie drew for us. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit the download on this one. Then there's a second set that I'm gonna use as well. It's titled Outer Space Elements Clip Art Set. Once you find this, let's go ahead and download this one also. 
Now that you have your art downloaded, let's go ahead and open up Inkscape. When you open Inkscape, you may get a screen like this that lets you either open recent documents or choose a variety of page sizes. If you do get the screen, you can click here where it says print over on the left, and then in the results, choose US letter. This is gonna be a standard paper size, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. This is a good starting point for learning to make coloring pages, because if you decide to move on to making a full coloring book, this is a widely used size for coloring books. This is also print ready if you wanna make a hard copy. I'm gonna choose US letter now, and it brings me to this blank workspace where I can begin to create my coloring page. If for some reason you did not get the new document load screen as I do, you can open Inkscape and go to file and choose new at the top menu. If for some reason your workspace is not set to eight and a half by 11, or if you need to confirm that it's set to eight and a half by 11, you can go to file and then document properties and make changes to the document size here. Let's close out of this window to go back to our workspace. Just a quick note here. If you have installed Inkscape and it looks wildly different than mine, one of the most common reasons is you may have a different theme setting than I'm using. Here's where to adjust that. Go to Inkscape and Preferences. On the left, under Interface, look for Theming and click it. You're gonna see an option for Use Dark Theme. I'm currently using Dark Theme, so you may wanna adjust this. Let's now close this window and start creating our coloring page. My plan is to make a scene of some of the animals floating around in space and some stars and planets and outer space things floating alongside them to dress up the scene. Let's go to File at the top menu and then go to Import. Find the folder with the astronaut animals that we downloaded and go into the PNG folder. In the PNG folder, let's choose the fox, the squirrel, and the bunny. You can hold down Command on the Mac to choose multiple files or Control on Windows. After selected, hit Open. Afterwards, you're going to get this PNG bitmap image import dialog box. This is asking in what way you would like to bring the graphics into the software. We want the default options, so click OK. You have to click OK two more times, once for each PNG that you're importing. Now you should have these three graphics in your workspace. Somewhere that is. Sometimes it seems Inkscape will insert these in somewhat random places. If you need to zoom out or in to find the graphics you just imported, you can do this using the plus and minus keys on the keyboard. Also, it has imported these entirely and obviously too huge since we can notice they are as large as our 8.5 by 11 workspace. So let's scale these down. However, first, let's click the lock here on the toolbar in between the width and height box. This way, when we drag the graphic, it keeps its proportions. Otherwise, it'll do this sort of thing, which you may want at some point, but for this, we'll go with keeping the proportions the way they are. So let's size down the fox, the bunny, the squirrel. Then let's move them into place where we think looks best. You can put them anywhere in your composition and nothing you do here is wrong. It's all your preference. Now let's get to the real reason you're here and that is turning a PNG graphic into an outline, which is the heart of the coloring page. The way to do this is pretty simple in Inkscape. Simply click on the character. After your graphic is selected, go to Path and go to Trace Bitmap. You'll see some options open up here on the right. Click on the tab that says Multicolor then we're going to change a couple options here. For detection mode, set it to colors and also select to remove background. Now click on the apply button. You'll notice when you drag your character, it now has duplicated the graphic. You want to drag the new one a bit to the side and delete the old one. Now with the new copy selected, take a look at all the swatches along the bottom of Inkscape. With your graphic still selected, Click on the white swatch here and your graphics should turn totally white like mine has. Now, keeping it selected, go to Object at the top menu and then go to Fill and Stroke. Now over the right, we're going to the Stroke Paint tab and click on the first square, which is the flat color selection. As long as this indicator is all the way in the black area, you'll have the same as what I have here on my screen. If not, move the indicator to the black area now, the only thing left to do is thicken the lines if you choose. 
To do this while still keeping the graphics selected, go to the Stroke Style tab. Here you can increase the width of the outlines. I would suggest first setting this to pixels with a drop down here and then raise the value a few based on your preference. Okay, as you can see, this graphic is now beautifully converted to outlines. From here, it's a bunch of rinse and repeat and arrange all the elements you want in your scene first and then convert them all to outlines to finish your coloring page. Here's the coloring page I made using the two art sets we downloaded earlier. There's tons you can do here, so be creative. When you get going on these coloring pages, you'll want to have an idea of what you're going to use them for. If you decide to use them for things like making and selling coloring books on the Kindle Direct Publishing Marketplace, you're going to want to visit their website and get all the specifications you'll need for formatting the book, such as the document sizes and bleed, which is simply the amount of space to leave around the edges for it to print properly. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was super fun for me making these coloring pages. And even if I don't sell the pages I made, I printed them out and my kids love coloring them. In fact, I taught them how to do it and they made a few of their own coloring pages. So just think, not only is Daily Art Hub helping you earn a passive income, it's also helping bring families closer together. Anyway, as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications. Also, one of my goals with these videos is to create a community, and that means communication. So please leave me comments regarding your thoughts or questions on this method of turning colored graphics into outlines. Do you know a different or better way that this can be done? Let me know. Or even drop me a comment below to say hi. It helps to let me know that someone's out there getting use of these videos. Okay, I want to thank you for checking out this video, and until next time, remember that you can do this. Confidence is the most valuable asset you have in your arsenal. Have a good one.